talking about an amazing Father's Day haul. Welcome to Ducks and Download, and let's go over three amazing Vintage Collection Clone Wars series figures. First, let's take a look at Clone Wars Arc Trooper Jesse. Now, this figure always comes with a little bit of sadness to it because we know how the story's going to end with our amazing Jesse and the 501st Troopers versus pretty much Ahsoka and Rex after Order 66. What a sad day but immortalized forever in an amazing figure with an absolutely stellar card back. We get this brilliant ARC Trooper Jesse. I am so thrilled to have found this amongst the other two at a GameStop. What a great Father's Day to get an amazing figure like this and in really great condition. Again, I've been surprised recently by how amazing these GameStop card backs have been as I know their packing system isn't very kind. The color choice on this card back versus bubble and figure are just absolutely amazing. I love how the yellow really highlights all of the white and blue from the rest of the clone commander outfit that we get on Jesse and with his black rifles and guns here. But how it really pops out up here versus all of the steel, white, blues, grays, and reds of the rest of the card back really makes it eye-catching and that is amazing. I love how it just stands out like that. The uh, Clone Wars bubbles up here always look so good in that classic red like we got from the show. But the way that the Kenner logo matches Jesse himself in this really great action pose here is so, so cool. When we get a lot of live action, of course, we always love a good live action card back. But when it comes from Clone Wars Animated, I love when they do these really amazing artistic stylings of card backs. And this is no exception here. This Jesse looks absolutely phenomenal and is in a great action pose, ready to serve truly highlighting his loyalty to the Republic. Looking on the back here, we have VC250, an amazing line, but these three were must-haves when I saw them sitting on the shelf, and Jesse is no exception to that. I'm so happy to be able to put him next to his brother Rex. Maybe one of these days, he'll even be able to get signed by D. Bradley Baker, just like Rex. Now, onto the figure itself. Let's stop gushing over the card back, as amazing as it is. The figure inside is amazing. Now, it does have the same Arc Trooper helmet. I know a lot of people have always been complaining about that, the fact that it has the swoop on top and that Jesse's normally did not actually have that huge ridge bar there. But the art here does have it. They seem to be going more for like the clone copy of the Arc Trooper styling of armaments and stuff, just painted for each one. You know, Havoc, Blitz, all of those. I'm okay with it. With an inbox collector, I'm not going to be looking at the side of this helmet very much, so I'm not going to complain about it too much, but I do understand the gripes with it not being very, uh, shall I say, screen accurate. The rest of the blasters, coming with all of them, I mean, that's amazing. We get the two pistols here, we have the light rifle here, and then the long rifle here. And absolutely an amazing amount of accessories, and the helmet looks brilliant. The helmet doesn't look too big, the head doesn't look too shrunk down to make the helmet not look too big. It's very well scaled. This figure is absolutely well painted and really shines. I like the fact they give him a nice, clean, crisp look right off of the factory line, ready to stir some trouble up. Nice close up. Again, an absolutely amazing card back, a great figure, and a really crazy cool Father's Day find. There's Arc Trooper Jesse. Next on the list, let's take a look at the Mandalorian Super Commando. Now, this one has an amazing color scheme throughout the entire figure and card of that lovely red, dark browns, and black, and I absolutely love that aesthetic. Whereas with the Jesse figure over here, a lot of things kind of clashed in a great way and had a lot more pop and vibrance. Having all of these colors match so perfectly is just really amazing and makes this card back and figure a very, very popular Mandalorian. I was so happy to have found this one still waiting for me. The figure itself looks absolutely amazing. We, of course, have a great sculpt up here with the horns on the helmet. A little bit of the battle damage you can see painted on here with the armor. The classic cloned off Mandalorian body sculpt. A great body sculpt with a really good set of articulation and posability. Uh, again, never going to remove these guys from the box, though, as my TVCs, I just love to keep so crispy and clean. You, you can't defile. They do such a great job of packaging these things. The main clash here comes, of course, from the Kenner blue down at the bottom going against all of this brown, black, and red. But that makes it have that really nice, distinct eye appeal right there. 
but the card back itself, the figures look so almost like distinctly similar in pose. It's almost just kind of like a blown up version of this, but he gets it to be a bit more menacing. I like the choice. Maybe a little bit more variety of pose would have been better for the card back, but I am still super thrilled to have such an amazing Mandalorian commando figure. In great shape, no crazy bends or warps, nothing I can't deal with. This one here is VC246. Nice shot of the back there. Same line as Jesse and the Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper. An absolutely amazing arc throughout the entire Clone Wars series, and I was super happy to be able to get all of these together. I'm hoping one day to be able to get the Black Series version of this as well, and then that will really complete a lot of a collection. Same lovely distinct Clone Wars bubble up here. Again, the nice red to match the red of the armor, but a little bit brighter. That way you can kind of see the edges of the black armor and the edges of the horns really nice and crisp through the bubble there. Comes with the Wester carbine pistols and the Wester carbine rifle. Almost every single Mandalorian seems to have a pair of those, especially in the Clone Wars version. So absolutely iconic that he was able to come with all of them. That was really stellar. You can see the jetpack there in the back. Nice classic jetpack but an all-around great Mandalorian figure. And having to save my favorite for last, guys, this Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper is an absolute fan favorite, and I know many, many other collectors that have voted this one to be one of their top tier, top five, if not top number one, Mandalorian TVC figure of last year. This guy's card back is absolutely brilliant. This gorgeous orange that you don't really see very often really makes for the figure to pop. All of this dark aesthetic of the steel grays and the dark blues really, really go with this orange marvelously well. The light blue on the background adds for a nice eye-catching pop with the Clone Wars red up top to really draw you in. And the figure pose is just absolutely great in this card back with almost a very classic art style. Much like the other two with Jesse and the Super Commando, this very artistic rendering of these Clone Wars figures is just super, super wizard. And I've really, really loved this figure. But I've always loved it when that Kenner logo can really match in well. I'd have to say, out of all the card backs, it's definitely Airborne, Jesse, and then the Super Commando. But yeah, this Mandalorian Death Watch Airborne Trooper takes the cake 100%. What an absolutely gorgeous card back. And the figure looks so amazing. You can, of course, see nice little bits of damage throughout the chest here. Really good paint job, though. They did so well on a lot of the minor details here, especially up here on the helmet and the bucket. You get to see a lot more of that little orange pop that you can see over here. Everything is represented really well. The small Wester blasters there and the Wester carbine rifle there. Of course, these weapons are an absolute need for every Mandalorian who's ever going to take to the skies or any mercenary justice. I was so happy to have found all three of these figures. An absolutely stellar set of figures to pick up for Father's Day and an absolutely stellar set to review. Jesse, the Airborne Death Watch Trooper, and the Mandalorian Super Commando. This trio just could not be outdone. Thank you all so much for stopping by. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may your hunting go just as spectacularly as mine. And may the force... Serve you well.